Hey, welcome back to the next installment on uh, using Design Master spray paint on uh, nylon. Uh, this is the product here. Um, I'm going to answer a few questions I've had from folks uh, asking about the durability of the paint. And they want to know if it flakes off or how long does it last. So this is just an example of um, a little feather that I made that was hung outside for over a year. And initially this was a blue fabric with blue paint on it. Uh, this was a fuchsia with red paint on it. So you can see that the base colors have basically faded away and the paint is still there holding this thing together. So it lasts quite a while. Um, do you have to turn the cans upside down to clear the nozzles after each use? No, you don't need to do that. You're just wasting paint and wasting the uh, pressure inside. Uh, remember, it's an ultra-fine mist. It doesn't uh, clog up. If the spray nozzle builds up paint that's dried on there, sometimes it'll give a little splatter effect. So you just clean the tip with a fingernail and the tip is now clean, ready to use. Um, on the cans, it has a little black dot. There's a little black mark there. That just shows you which way the nozzle is inside the can so that when you tip it down, you can get the uh, all the paint out. Um, let's see what else is there. Oh, how long do the cans last? I've had cans for over 20 years and they still work fine. Um, so that's not an issue. All right, so what is it we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna talk about soap resist painting. And that's using, I prefer Dawn uh, liquid dish soap. And I'll show you some samples of what can be done with that. So this is just some scribble effect using soap to scribble and then painting over the top of that. Um, you can paint the, the uh, fabric background a different color, like this was a mango with red paint on it and then scribbled with the soap and then black paint on top of that. Uh, you can create all kinds of effects. Whatever you can draw is what you're gonna get. Okay, you can get uh, fine detail. This has just been appliqued, but you can get fine little detail, or you can do big splotches, big areas. Uh, you can do little circles to create a texture. Uh, some of the other ones that I've done here. Okay, and draw with the soap and then spray the fabric. This is just a little sled kite that was drawn and then painted. Uh, and the little white spots there, the little specks were actually sprinkles of rain when I was painting outside. It was dropping on it and it kind of worked. All right, so what do we need? Soap, we're gonna need squeeze tubes. This is a micro tip. Of course, the, the smaller the tip, the finer the line that you're going to get. Uh, various size, other squeeze bottles. You can cut these to uh, let a lot of uh, liquid out or just a little bit. Uh, one of the tricks that I found uh, by accident was as this pours, uh, as you squeeze it out onto the fabric, it spreads out. So you don't get the fine little detail that you want. And I was doing some painting in the wintertime and I noticed, wow, it seems to be working better um, when it's colder. And so putting it in the fridge thickens it up and it seems to hold its uh, fine line a little bit better when it's cold. So that's one of the things that we can show. And let's see, anything else? Oh, we're going to be painting on a horizontal surface and then we're going to have to use some kind of high pressure um, rinse to get the soap off. Uh, I prefer using a hose outside. Uh, you can use a sink and just uh, rub it off. Does it ruin the fabric? No. Does the fabric get wet? Yes, but it dries. Is it going to have wrinkles in it? No. So let's go do a little experimenting.
go ahead and paint this one with red. Okay, now we'll just hose it off. Okay, that's it. And then just let it dry. All right, so we're back inside and here's the results. So I just, um, after hosing it off, just took a towel, dried both sides. You notice the fabric's not wrinkled, it's not damaged. And just another squiggle. And then the last one, All right, so that's it. That's just uh, liquid resist, soap resist um, on the uh, nylon using Design Master spray paint. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And I think the next one will be uh, what's behind me here, crinkle fabric. We'll just do a little demonstration on how to do the 3D crinkle prints or painting. So that will be the next one. All right, bye-bye.